What do you think will like? It nearly ate up well, President like Jonathan. We wouldn't have him here today if uh, not for the people. Well, the PDP know, nearly ate him up. No, Mr. Arendt, I was trying to look at the future, but, uh, you know, we're trying to look at the minds of the, some of these uh, contenders. But away from all of that now, now you're talking about the PDP. What do you think will likely happen to the PDP in Bielsa State if some other heavyweight should spring up from any other political party in Bielsa State? Uh -huh. The way it's going, do you of think this could cost the PDP the victory? Unfortunately, the PDP is truly, really, the giant party. Maybe not in Nigeria, but in the Niger Delta. And in Bielsa, I really honestly do not see any other party beating them if a very heavy weight does not go into an opposition party. Now, silver could be a very heavy weight because uh, we keep saying it's difficult to beat an incumbent. It is very difficult what to be done. Of of machinery, you know, these are political terms we've grown to hear in structures, Nigeria. Structures structure. and all that. Let's talk about Silver's uh, Governor Silver's structure and machinery in Bell's estate. They are, they are uh, extensive. In fact, let me add to that uh, so they can respond to both. Uh, Jeff also asks, why then is he uh, showing some sort of desperation to pick up a ticket? Can't he go as an independent candidate? It is better. Well, maybe uh, uh, today we have had uh, quotations from Sunzu and Igbo land. Let me give you one from Efik land. It is better for you to seek uh, a birth that is that does not need long labor than for you to say, I'll have long labor just because I need a child with a heavy head or big head. Um, it will be easier for Silva or anybody to sail through on the PDP platform. Now, I do not know whether the PDP wins its elections fairly, freely, or whatever. What I know is in Bielsa, if they run the elections today, the PDP will win. You know something? All through these periods, first of all, we've had about four weeks of concentrating on just one party's primaries. None of the other parties have come up with anything concerning these elections, forthcoming elections. What if Governor Silva moves to another party? Mm -hmm. That's what I want us to see. Ah, it will be difficult because as soon as he moves out of the PDP, now the PDP, the issue of the PDP is now the president comes from Bayelsa. Will the president, will the PDP allow the president to lose his state? He's not the, he's not the one in charge. Ah, the man who develops not. the state directly is the governor. I know, but the PDP controls the governor, as they have shown now. So, if he leaves the PDP, I do not know what his chances are. But I, what, one thing I can say is this. I've never been believed in quitting. If you have a, if you are in the right, or you believe you are in the right, even if you are in the wrong, fight for your rights. Do you think the governor is in his right? I do think that a few things have been done wrong co concerning the governor. Everybody there has made a mistake at one time or the other, except Ben Bruce and Igali, politically. Alibi has made his mistakes, but. He recovered from them. He was one of the, President Jonathan's strongest supporters even during the time we were trying to make Jonathan an acting president. Now, do you, do you, do you, how, what do we call your virtually locking in the incumbent governor from taking part in world elections? Okay. Is that right? I don't think so. Now, that is, that is power being overused. And I know one thing about President Jonathan, he also tells me that, look, you know, you don't use power beyond 10, 20%. In this case, power is used 110%. Could you join in up with the comments we see in the papers this morning saying that Bayasa elders were the ones who, they had always been talking about some of these matters, but some of them, the report here from Tribune said they had up to here. I, I know one thing for sure. Silver had made errors. 
Silver had stepped on many toes. Silver had annoyed many people. But not the people. Positively not, now, speaking. Annoyed. No, no, you know, oh, you, you, mean, you, you know maybe, when you step on maybe toes, in the presence, maybe if I'm fixing it, yes, yes, yes. I am, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Sometimes it's been a personality problem. Sometimes it's been a non-connection with the people. Sometimes it's been an uh, a non-recognition of the elders. Now, if they were to let Silver run in the primaries, I'm not talking about in the elections. Look, this is, this is the same stage you were at when I was saying Jonathan has a right to run. Silver had a right to run in the primaries. He was incumbent governor. It had never happened before. Why did it happen now? Now, no matter what mistakes he made, you could beat him during the primaries. Not, don't, not play him out in a dirty way. But we Nigerians are not satisfied with the way he was finagled out. Okay. But shouldn't we be optimistic that, well, at the end of the day, since both parties have submitted themselves to the courts, the courts can resolve this. And by the way, whichever the way the pendulum swings, it's still within the same party. Yes, and personally, anyway, um, I really would have loved to see uh, a heavyweight in the ACN or ABGA or any other party. It is about time we start having true democracy from the angle of an opposition being truly alive. However, whether the opposition will be alive because of what created ACN and so on, which don't forget that everybody was PDP right from the start. Then they started breaking up. They became uh, all parties AC, ACN. We don't, I don't foresee breakups in the PDP. All right. But I would like them to have a more robust democracy. And for that, we equity, justice, and fairness.